My name is Philip Jacobson, and I play the role of Nick in Blackout. Yes, I've been a, uh, a, uh, a mobster and all my life. It's amazing. How it's... No, uh, I played the roles like you know, this before, uh, you know, the Harvey Keitel type of role, the cleaner. So um, what I did when I found out that I was going to be playing the role was to go take a look at uh, Harvey Keitel on YouTube, doing uh, some of his uh, good work from Pulp Fiction. But I realized that, of course, that this was a little bit different. There was a sense of humor involved that wasn't in view, involved with uh, Harvey Keitel. So uh, I liked that twist. It made something very different for the, uh, for the role. I was uh, acting when I was in Cub Scouts. I was eight years old, and uh, there was a um, live show, and uh, I was a boxer against another, another kid, another Cub Scout. And he knocked me down in the first round, good acting, and then I came back to win, you know, just uh, Superman style or whatever. And, uh, and that was uh, when I first uh, did my acting. I love playing the bad guy. That's a lot of fun. I mean, I played the lawyer and, uh, and uh, the cop and all those, those roles too, and they're, they're fun. But uh, when you're the bad guy, <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. Just. Um, creating a character that uh, is believable and pretty nasty. Um, cut, it's a wrap, good job. That was my favorite. That, uh, not that I didn't enjoy doing it, but knowing that we had, we had a deadline and we beat the deadline by quite a bit. We did almost three pages in about 35 minutes. So it was you know, gratifying to be able to do it that quickly and get it done and be in character and have all the different uh, POVs. And, it was, it was fun, and um, I, I just enjoyed it. It was nice to be able to wrap it up that quickly. I hope about five years older. That's, that's what I hope. Other than that, I have no expectations. I, 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 I'm in the moment. You know, I, I'm enjoying what I do. I'm an acting coach. I teach improv, and I do storytelling uh, during the summers for a historical group. And um, I do acting, murder mysteries, and improv comedy. I just love doing a number of different things, and uh, film, commercials. Everything I do basically is fun, and I just would like to continue to do that. Never. Never. No, because um, what's true for uh, for teachers is normally is you learn from teaching. For instance, I get uh, I've gotten sharper uh, sharper with the. Um, uh, improv after I've uh, been teaching it since 2004 just because I'm you know interacting with my students and playing games with them also and also working with them to improve them it, it just sharpens me and same thing with acting as an acting coach uh, I'm working with students to improve the use of their voice the use of the characterization getting into character and it just sharpens me up also so I'm probably going to get more active in looking at film. I've been very interested and very involved in murder mysteries, um, breaking of the fourth wall right into dinner theater and, and, and being in the middle of the audience, what have you. I've kind of broken away from that at the moment. And I'm much more interested, I think, in getting into film a little bit more and being more proactive in that. Um, I'm, and I still like to do uh, things that are alive Right now I'm in a Fringe Festival production. It's a 25-minute sketch comedy that is wacky from the moment that we get on stage until the moment we leave. And it's wonderful to have that live uh, audience and what have you, but uh, I think I'd like to get more involved in film. This is uh, the third film that I was involved in this year, and I'd like to do more. Well, the best part is it's over very quickly. Um, you don't have to keep something memorized, I guess, forever. And the, the sad thing is that uh, you get camaraderie and then it's all over. So uh, basically, though, um, for me, it's getting into character. Uh, I came into the shoot prepared. I had my lines memorized. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with the character, and, uh, and I felt that I, that I got it. And um, so it was just fun. So 21 days or a day of shooting or it's going to take a, a month, it doesn't matter. It just For me, it's just fun. You don't have to audition, you've got the role. I want them to think it's been well produced and well acted. 
and that uh, and that everybody's everybody's you know done done their function within the film and behind the scenes and what have you so that it's just well crafted and being a part of that and that some producer director filmmaker will look at me and as well as others and say wow I want to hire that person I want to hire those people